Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What we've been out here doing for the last couple hours, We've been telling y'all, you all the Israelites going to the Bible. That's we talk about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's and we went into slavery, and we are oppressed still today because we disobeyed God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. That's what we had to try to teach y'all to do. Try to come back to the Bible and repent. Y'all was out here two weeks ago looting. You know how we know? We see you on Facebook Live. Up again, breaking all the windows out, stealing everything. What's the commandment? God said, thou shalt not steal. God, should, God also said, thou shalt not kill. All right, get uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, all right? Because we out here teaching our people who they are and what they must do in these last days. Right. Guess what? These last days. Right. Guess right. what? America's not going to last forever. Right. Guess what? 71st and is not going to last forever. Right. You got that? Read that. Hold on, before we get that, because we are the middle of the world right here. We are the problems back on the earth, okay? You have a church now on every corner on 71st all the way down. How do you know who the real man of God is? Bring it up! Everybody read the Bible. It's a church on every corner, but how do you know who the men of the Lord really are? We're going to show you. We're going to prove all things to you right now. Read Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Read it for the time. We're going to dissect this. The question is, how do you know who the men of the Lord are today in 2020? Read the prophets that have been before me and before me of old prophesied both against many countries. Against who? Many countries. Where's T.D. Jakes at? Where is he? What does T.D. Jakes have to say about the United States of America? Guess what? Because we came over here, so-called blacks and Hispanics don't call those slave shit. What does your pastor have to say about that? COVID-19. 
You got the face mask on, right? You trying to take us up in there, right? Guess what? COVID-19 is because our people disobey God. That's right. Guess what? Same people talk about, hey, I can't get the coronavirus, but guess what right now? Blacks and Hispanics are number one in deaths with the coronavirus. Yeah. Why is that? Because we are the people of this Bible. We are the people of this town. We are the Israelites. You so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is judgment. And guess what? More judgment is to come. It ain't going to get no easier. It's going to get worse and worse. We are in the last days. But will you listen? Will you be called? Will you wake up, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, because this Bible is for you. You are the Israelites. Read. From the top. From the top. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Guess what? The hell with the United States of America. America is going to burn in these last days. That's right. They got thermonuclear warfare coming soon. They got nuclear bombs prepared right now. They ain't sitting there for nothing. They're going to be used. The Bible said that all the weapons that was ever created will be used. Okay? It, it ain't collecting dust. It will be used. They're going to be pointed right here in the United States of America. Right. You got Russia. You got China. They're joining forces right now. They coming up. But where will you be at, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman? You're going to keep looting. You're going to keep shooting. What you going to do? Read. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You hear that? War is coming. More pestilence is coming. More people are going to die. Guess what? Winter is coming. What's the hell that uh, the research Dr. Fauci? He said it's going to be uh, more, it's going to be another plague coming in the winter time. More people are going to die. Blacks and Hispanics. You hear that on the bus stop? Plagues are coming. The second wave is coming these last days. Get that spot five and seven. Five seven. Nice car, but guess what? 
What about your people? You will never rise above the status of your people. That's so right. remember, we came on slave ships together. We was oppressed together. We were shot down and gunned down the streets together. Two weeks ago, it was George Floyd. Before that was Lamar, uh, my army. Who's gonna be next? It's gonna be more people. When your time be the time when you get shot by the police, we talk about it, but we don't think it could ever happen to us. Right. right. Who's gonna be next? We talking about George Floyd. Guess what? Who will we talking about next month? Who's gonna be next? Read that part again. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because guess what? The day of vengeance is coming. How's that vengeance coming? It's coming right now. Coronavirus, AIDS, disease, death, being oppressed by the police, getting gunned down by the cops. That day is right now, but it's even more a darker day to come. Black man, black woman. Thermonuclear warfare is coming. You're gonna look up at the sky, you're gonna see those missiles coming down. You gonna have a whole hour to think about your sins. You gonna have a whole hour to think about, damn, I should've listened to the prophets. Bring it up. How many times we gotta come out here and tell y'all to repent? Right. While y'all walking, going where you, wherever you're going. That's fine, keep walking, but listen. Keep your ears open, keep watching. Judgment is coming to the United States. Right. That's Read. Right. Oh. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because they, we were gonna, that you're going to perish be the day of vengeance, guess what? Because it's not going to last forever. God created the earth for righteous sake. Right. But where's the righteousness at? Ain't no righteousness on 71st and Jeffrey. Ain't no righteousness in the United States of America. If there was, you wouldn't have police walk around up and down here every five minutes. Right. The Lord created the earth for our sakes. You so-called right. blacks and Hispanics. Right. But let's get some judgments, because maybe you need to hear it. Maybe you need to hear it. Y'all don't believe it. What does God say about thermonuclear warfare? That's in the Bible. Yes, it is. Get out! It's in the Bible. Wake up, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. This Bible's for you. That's this is the last captivity. The prophets are going to keep coming back. Lies, lies, lies. Give me the Jeremiah, uh, Isaiah 54 and 16. Guess what? Because we had to teach our people what they must do in these last days and repent. This is it. Like Michael Jackson said, this is it. You got it? Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16. Bring it out. Behold, I have decreed the spirit that bloweth a cause in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Read that part again. Because yeah, we read it, but I want y'all brothers and sisters to understand what it's saying. What did the Lord create? Read. I have created the waster. The what? The waster. The what? Waster. What has the capability of wasting everything in our existence? That thermal nuclear ICMBM missile. I don't give a damn. How many times you say your Pledge of Allegiance? I don't give a damn. How many times you vote? I don't give a damn if you will be celebrating Fourth of July. We're going to prophesy against the United States of America because that's what the prophets did. Where did you think that? Where Farrakhan at? They wanted to keep this place going. Right. We try to get up out of here. Right. Guess what? We the men of the Lord. We see what's going on on the earth. Right. We see the wickedness. Right. But what you going to do? When you stand up, Psalms 94, 16. Bring when you out, stand up, black man, you say we need to unite. Unite under what? Teach. You say we got to come together. Come together under what? The men of the Lord in these last days will come together with the say of the Lord. What does the Lord say? The Lord's going to ask you a question, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. Because again, the United States, hold on, I'll give a damn if you mad or not. The United States, these United States will burn. I'm going to keep saying it. That's what the Bible says. If you don't, give a if you don't like it, then keep it moving. These United States will burn. That's right. Teach. That's right. We were commanded to warn y'all people. Read. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it up. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? The Lord's asking you, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, who's going to rise up for him in these last days? Who's going to teach our people? Show that every mother's too bad and keep the commandments. Who's going to do it? Are you going to do you going to do about it? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who 
will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. Who's gonna stand up for God against the workers of iniquity? What is iniquity? Iniquity is sin. We can now be teaching y'all that. That's the reason why we went into slavery, because we said we broke God's commandments. That is sin. Going to the Bible. You got that? Let's see that first time. That's why we get kept in captivity. That's why we sit on press. That's why we feel like we got to lose still and rob the kid ahead. That's why we sit on press and say, not knowing who we are. You ask a black man who they are to get three different answers. You ask a Spanish man who they are to get 24 different answers. Black woman, we've been out here telling y'all what sin is. If you commit sin, you transgress the law. Read it. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is breaking God's laws. We've been out here teaching y'all laws. We've been out here telling our black woman to put on the dress. Be modest. We've been telling our black men to stop drinking, stop smoking, stop getting drunk, stop shooting our people, stop black on black crime. We've been telling y'all that. But guess what? Judgment's coming if y'all want to listen. But we gonna keep coming out here as long as we have a heart pumping to teach our people. So that's right. Because guess what? Christ said he's come like a thief in the light. We don't know when he's coming. But till then, we're gonna be out here warning our people. That way that day come, you can't say you wasn't warned. Right. You can't say you wasn't foretold. It Read it from the top. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Remember that, black man, black woman. Sin is breaking God's laws. We hear it in the church, but we never understood what that is. Now you know that sin is breaking God's laws. Yes, and these last days, you better repent or die in these last days. Because Christ is coming back like a thief in the night. And how he's going to do it, he's going to do it with those thermal nuclear ICBM missiles to destroy, once again, the United States of America. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.